Hello everybody, this is KMG207 and welcome back to another episode of, um, well actually it's not, it's not Let's Make a Custom Track, it's a different series, I think I'm gonna call this, uh, uh remaking custom tracks because it's, um, uh, a series where, well, I, I try to recreate custom tracks, I don't know if I'll keep this going more than one episode, I don't know, uh, it depends on how this gets received, so the thing is, I lost inspiration for my custom track if you you know there, there hasn't been a video for of like uh, let's make a custom track for a long time and that's because i just kind of lost inspiration and i don't want to do things that i don't like and so instead i just thought let's try doing something that seems interesting to me which is recreating a track that already exists and this time uh well at this time i don't know if it's going to be more of this but I'm gonna be doing a uh, faraway land and yay this is the second time I'm recording this video why because I for some reason lost the um, the recording audacity crashed and I lost my recording 30 minutes of me sitting here talking to the camera uh, or into the microphone all lost fantastic that's amazing I love this um, yay youtuber struggles so I'm gonna have to redo everything that I've done for the last half hour Oh, well, alright, so, <laughs> um, I at least know how to do this video now, I had some trouble, I don't know if, like, I, I had some trouble saying the things that I wanted to say, but I think now, having already done it before, it should be easy. So, Faraway Land, if you've not played it before, it is a track that's currently in CGGP, so you can try to play it, um, well, it's, as of this date, it's in CGGP, but it's kind of hated by the community. I don't know why, because I actually kind of like the track. Uh, if you if you play it a few times, you know how to play it. Some people don't like it because uh, you, like, fall off because the, 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 the like, the, the, ah, the, <laughs> thanks, thanks, English, it's working, thank you. Um, my English is working today, so there's curves and that those are really weirdly uh, made uh, But if you know how to drive it, it's not actually that hard. Just give it a few practice tries, but uh, I still thought let's try to recreate the track because of you know I just thought doing something else so instead of making my own track I just thought let's recreate something that already exists. Maybe that can give me some inspiration. Maybe that can uh, I don't know help me uh, I just wanted to do something with custom tracks uh, right now after not feeling happy with my own anymore um, so yeah, uh, this is gonna be, if you, if you don't know Faraway Land for some reason, then, uh, if you don't know the meme yet, if you don't know the meme track, you should know the meme tracks, come on. It's a track that starts off in, uh, like, a bit of a sand area, and it goes into a wooden section that kinda goes very, very far, uh, steep up, and it goes back down, and it goes, like, onto a concrete, uh, structure section with, like, bricks and stuff, uh, but that section has like 90 degree angle corners and it's really annoying um, for some people. I know how to drive on it, but that's that's just me. <laughs> and a lot of people don't like it because of that exact reason. Um, and then it goes back onto like a uh, wooden path section and then it goes into a cannon. And the cannon shoots you through a hole in the rocks. And uh, the more I the more I go, the the more annoyed I get. But I have to redo everything. I already sat through this. I already did all of this <laughs> for half an hour. <laughs> I thought I was done, but then Eldacity just said, "No, let's apply the compression and crash." Because for some reason that's never happened before, and I really love that. Thank you, thank you so much, Eldacity. I love you. There was no there was no backup file either. It's so stupid. So yeah, uh, there. <laughs> let's talk about the track. There's the wooden path that. I made here and if you all know the kind of the, the wooden path goes up and then very very like 90 degree and it's a very uh, sharp corner it goes into like 90 degree angle corner after the uh, the very steep slope so you can't know what you're supposed to do and it's really really uh, sharp sharp turn so instead I make it a smooth turn and I uh, make sure that the road kind of smoothly extends and smoothly goes down uh, I, I you know that's pretty cool, in my opinion. That's exactly how I wanted it to be. And so there we go. We extend this. So I, as you can see, you may be wondering, what am I doing right now? I'm only making one section. Yeah, so this is going to be uh, mirrored. So I'm going to just kind of copy what I'm doing right now and paste it on the other side and, and, and scale it or mirror it. Um, so it's the same on both ends. Oh, I screwed this up because for some reason I forgot that this thing is really high in the air. And I have to align up the uh, heights, of course, as well. Not only position uh, from from like X and Y, but also Z Z direction. This is uh, a struggle of working in 3D, huh? You forget about the third dimension. Um, all right, so here we go. It's gonna be me copying and uh, mirroring the track. There it is. 
and as you can see, if you know the original, it's very 90 degree. This looks very smooth and uh, a lot better to drive on. Uh, I already played it, <laughs> and there will be there will be a final result uh, video, you know, in me in Dolphin Emulator in the end of this video. So <clears throat> uh, look forward to that. And uh, oh yes, so if you know the original, there's a bit of like a shortcut ramp, uh, but it doesn't really work because it's like you can't even like make it. You need to like. Uh, Whatever, so instead what I do is actually kind of create a little platform for you to land on and uh, that, that, that helps a lot. That just means that you only need one mushroom and you can just trick off that and uh, land on that little section. It skips a little bit of time. If you have a mushroom, it's, uh, it's actually quite useful. Um, now, um, the original creator, Gilmon, of this track, I contacted him but I have not received a response. I asked him if I could recreate this track and publish it on the wiki. I haven't received a response yet so I'm just gonna not do that. I will keep this private uh, and uh, until he responds or something or until it takes very long and he doesn't respond then I'll just do it anyway. Um, Unless I don't like it, but there, there's a lot of things that I still need to change after this video, but that's not gonna be in this uh, this series anymore. Uh, there, there's a couple bug fixes, and there's a couple things like I don't have the object set any uh, yet, but that's gonna come later. So as you can see, let's talk about the track design again, uh, not about releasing the track. Um, so if you know, there's like a really weird turn. If you if you played the original, it's really uh, a weird turn that curves strangely, and there's not there's not enough uh, triangles. It, it's a really bumpy, weird turn if you do it. So I try to make things as smooth as I can, and um, you know, make sure there's enough vertices so you don't you know get a very weird bumpy turn. And as you can see right here, if you know the original, this section, that long straightaway, is actually made up of two triangles and I tried to recreate that and that's, uh, you know, I tried that. And I, But I wanted to add something extra, I wanted to add a boost panel. I'm gonna add a boost panel in the middle, so it's, uh, because it's a very long straight road, that makes it a bit easier or a bit faster. I hate long straight roads and I like to just add, um, you know, add boost panels on long straight roads because it just takes so long to drive. Um, and so yeah, after this uh, this like long section, you know, if you play the track, there is a kind of a half pipe section, but it's an interesting half pipe section because it goes from pretty much flat into half pipe uh, gradually, and at the end of the half pipe, there's a cannon that brings you like shoots you through a uh, a mountain. And I'm gonna be adding that half pipe section right now. Um, it was kind of interesting. I wonder how he created that originally, but I used the uh, the feature from Dolphin to have uh, to have you um, kind of move vertices with others. I, like I don't even know what it's called. Um, probably like some kind of relative editing. I don't I don't know what to call it. <laughs> but yeah, it, it makes you move a vertice and then move the surrounding vertices as well. And you can make some smooth transitions uh, between the vertices that way. So you can see me do it right here. Uh, connected editing or something? Is that is that what it is? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, as you can see, um, I create a little half pipe that goes from flat to half pipe. And uh, I notice it's it's uh, too. It, it it goes down, and that's that's not what I want. So I move it back up. Um, yeah, as you can see, it, it, the this section kind of feels wrong. It feels way too short, and it, it's like um, I have the dimensions kind of incorrect, and you'll see me fiddling with the dimensions of these sections of the tracks, or of the, the these sections of the track for a bit here, and um, I, I think I'll get it done properly in the end. You'll uh, you'll see me. Uh, completely edit the first section that'll come later on but the entire first section with the sand and the first uh, the first wood section uh, is way too small uh, in comparison to what I'm making right here so you'll see me edit, edit, scale it up later on uh, it'll come in like a few minutes so I think at this point oh I'm making the concrete um, or the, the brick wall thing the yellow bri uh, red brick wall haha <laughs> great reference I don't I haven't even seen isn't that from uh, I don't even know what that, that's from uh, god I made a reference that I don't even know the name of myself uh, <laughs> fantastic the yellow brick road that's from the wizard of ah oh, the wizard of oz there it is um, the wizard of oz reference I haven't even seen wizard of oz in my life I think <laughs> so that I don't even know <laughs> I just know the reference it's kind of stupid all right so I add the water already uh, the water layer is really terrible to edit with uh, because it, it obscures some stuff and it's terrible so I remove that in a second oh also you can see me extend the uh, start here here it starts already I, I extend the uh, 
the beginning section um, because it was way too small and you'll see me in a moment and there we go we reopened the uh, I had a bit of a break a little bit of a, a few minutes break um, oh there, there's another oh I guess I had another quick break I don't, I don't know what I did there but yeah so I scale up this thing and I scale up the beginning section as well in a moment if you if, if I can do this right there we go <laughs> you see me also scale up this section right here um, at first I scale it incorrectly using the wrong I, I must not scale in the Z direction only in the X and Y directions so there we go and then I add it back to its original position and now you can see there's a lot more space in the long straightaway because it felt really uh, short and this section is gonna be scaled up and this section also would scale up there we go I think at this point it's 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 nicely done. Uh, it plays well. If you like, if you watch the uh, the final result, you see it plays well. So uh, I kind of go backwards from here. I kind of start working on the. I, I kind of start at like the the start line and kind of work both ways. So I add the uh, the final ramp. If you played the original, do you know you can skip this one? Now uh, this there is a skip. Uh, you can you can like go off the ramp from the cave. Um, but I removed that entirely. Uh, I don't know if I should add that back. Let me know if you think I should add that back. I can always extend the sand section so you can actually land properly, but um, but it feels too overpowered in my opinion. Um, but I just I just kind of removed that. So instead of having the gigantic like a gigantic flat flat plane, I make a big curve instead of a you know gigantic flat plane that no one would ever use because of the shortcut, but now it's gonna probably be used if, if anyone plays much. I don't, I don't think this track's gonna be in CGP. I don't even know if I'm, if I'm gonna release this track yet. Um, so, I don't know, man, but it plays okay if you see the uh, the final result. Um, but yeah, so so there was a big, gigantic, like, flat uh, square area there, so I make it a big turn that kind of, uh, that kind of smoothly uh, bends and so now we're gonna continue on the section after the cannon. So you land on a bit of a grass patch with a chain chomp. Uh, I still need to add. I haven't actually added that chain chomp yet. I haven't done any of the objects. If you see the final, the final result isn't really a final result. It's more like a a result where you can play on it, but nothing else is done. I mean, it's not ready for release, and I don't know if I'm gonna release this yet. Uh, again, let me know in the comments if you think I should release this. Um, but I'll still have to wait for. Uh, for the original creator to respond. Now I don't know how long I should wait for him to respond. Um, I waited for like a few days now, and well, um, he, he hasn't responded yet. Um, so I don't know if I'm allowed to edit, uh, upload this track without permission. But whatever. I mean, I, I might as well try. Like uh, the people are kind of again. This this track has kind of become a meme, and. I just kind of thought maybe if I do this, maybe it's gonna be it's gonna be in it's gonna stay in CGP. Maybe um, I don't know. I don't know if this version is better. I don't know if people like this better. Um, I don't even know if I'll release it again. I said that, uh, but let's just keep talking about the track. So as you can see, I made the uh, the cave section, and it's a bit rough. It's a bit bumpy. I made sure that it's a bit bumpy uh, because that feels cool. I mean, it's a kind of a cave. I mean, it doesn't supposed. It's not supposed to be flat. It's not. It's supposed to be a kind of a naturally generated piece of land. Uh, that's uh, it's not flat. It's kind of bumpy, but I think that's good. And also, if you played the original, the the cave was like really long and open, and I made it a nice. Uh, S bend, so it's a bit. Uh, you can do some drifts on it, some some mini turbos. That kind of makes it less boring, uh, and and I make it made it a bit thinner, so it's a you know it's it, it's fun. It's more fun to drive on than like a big open area. Um, but uh, you know I kept the bumpiness of it, so that's what I liked. And here I am like kind of extending the uh, sand section. Uh, I had to do kind of this extending manually in sections because it wouldn't for some reason it wouldn't uh, ex extend. Uh, by normals. I don't know why I didn't do that, but oh well. Um, I have to manually do it. It's not that big of a deal, but there we go. There is the sand area, and I kind of have to like move these things down so it goes into the water. And this whole section is kind of flat, but I think that's okay. Um, the track, the track layout, as you can see, uh, I, I almost burped. Sorry. Uh, the the track layout is pretty much done. You could probably play this track at this point, but I'm going to add the hole in the wall right now. I'm using kind of the uh, random uh, random extrusion effect um, 
to to uh, to make a not round hole because you know in real life it should have some kind of uh, eroded hole somewhere in a mountain. Now, the, not such a big. I don't think such a big hole would ever exist. I don't know, but if it was due to erosion, then it wouldn't be a perfectly round hole. It would be a kind of a bumpy hole, like like I made. I think it looks really cool. Um, it looks pretty good the way I did it. Uh, at least I think it looks pretty cool. But yeah, so here's the uh, the wall, um, and of course I don't create more than what you can actually see. So that's uh, that's the thing. I don't create much more than like around the corner, and that that's it. So <laughs> yeah, I like to not make much more than necessary because like why would you make more as a game as a, like a developer uh, as a 3d modeler if you're not supposed to get there then why would you make it because it just adds more uh, it adds more uh, processing power you know it, it, it costs more processing power to render things that you're, you're not even going to see because in Mark we there is no such thing as rendering different parts of the track it renders the entire track in one go I mean nowadays in you know you know um, newer games and newer consoles newer engines uh, i think mario kart 8 even does the same thing you like the game renders only specific sections of the track so for example if you're inside the cave it doesn't need to render much more than anything outside the like the cave itself and then nothing else and if you're through this hole then you don't need to render a lot of stuff on the other side um you know it, it's like um because games are getting more and more advanced nowadays, more polygons, they need to come up with better ways of uh, of optimizing things, which, you know, is le letting go of, uh, or, or just not drawing things that you don't see. And in Marker Wii, as I said, Marker Wii does not have this feature, uh, and so you just have to make sure that you don't use that many vertices, but again, a track like this doesn't need I, I can add all kinds of detail that you wouldn't see, and there's, because this track isn't using that many vertices anyway um, but you know whatever I just try to <laughs> I just try to use as minute uh, as uh, the, you know uh, not uh, oh god my English Ugh. I try to use um, as little as I can that's it so <laughs> let's talk about the track design again I'm currently working on the uh, cave as you can see I'm adding the ceiling of the cave right now and I need to change the height I somehow forgot about that um, because when I'm done here, I'm like, wait, what? But then, yeah, the uh, the height doesn't go uh, with editing it, you know, because I'm only changing the X, Y coordinates and not the Z coordinates right away, so I manually have to do this afterwards. And it's kind of hard to see where the vertices are. That kind of annoys me. Eh. <laughs> uh, this kind of section, I hate this. I hate this cave section. It was just really boring and repetitive work, like filling in these walls. It's just boring work and. Um, yeah, whatever. I still did it anyway. Um, like, I started this whole thing because I was bored with my own custom track, so instead I did more boring things. <laughs> I don't know, man, whatever. Uh, it's just a nice change of pace, because this track, I was I made this like in like one day, in like the span of like within 24 hours, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, it was it was pretty easy to make. So then I make the front side of the wall, the, the, the mountain thing, whatever. Whatever you want to call it. And as you can see, I'm just gonna make it round the corner and just completely stop the wall. Yeah, it, that's it. <laughs> it's like you don't need to make more than you can see. I already said that, but yeah, there we go. And then um, I'm gonna extrude this again, and I have to like add the uh, the hole back in. If you've seen like the hole on the other side, I just kind of make a square around it and just just kind of yolo it using the feature of. Uh, Blender's automatic fill feature. Yeah, I, I mean, it's it's rough. It doesn't necessarily well. It doesn't look uh, great, but it doesn't look bad. It, it works. It works. If it works, then uh, it's fine, right? It's it kind of bodging, bodging, right? Like if it works, uh, it's not it, it's not silly if it works, right? Uh, so yeah, there we go. I added the hole, and then we continue on the rock section of here um, and that one that's the final rock wall that I need to do and now all I need to do is kind of fit in, fill in the uh, the cave uh, entrances with the wall itself uh, and then the other cave and uh, oh I noticed that the uh, the normal the 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 uh, face uh, normals were wrong it's like if you're in SketchUp it's the front and back faces 
uh, in, in Blender, you just have, uh, you also have front and back faces, but it's kind of hard to see which ones they are, so you use a little thing that makes little blue uh, lines appear in the direction that the normals are facing. So I check everything like, like three times to make sure that everything's correct, because if the floor is the wrong way, you just fall through it, and that's not good. Uh, oh god, <laughs> I yawned. Sorry for that. Um, uh, I guess because I'm kind of bored. I've been sitting here for like for like 40 minutes now. It's like 30 minutes plus 20. That's like 50 minutes, dude. Uh, <laughs> I've already recorded this video before, but it didn't work out. Because uh, dang audacity, that's never happened before. I'm gonna just save. I'm not even going to do the uh, compression that I usually do. And I'm gonna save it immediately just in case it screws up again. But we're gonna start with the last, kind of the last section of the track design, which is the texturing. I'm going to be using the exact same textures as the original uh, because, you know, I thought, you know, why, why wouldn't I? I mean, I'm recreating a track, might as well use the same textures as the original. So the wood texture right here, and I just kind of. I mean, just kind of scale it roughly right. I, I thought like that should be kind of correct. There we go. Seems legit. <laughs> it, if it works, it works. So there we go. Then the concrete section. The concrete looks like uh, looks like NES or SNES uh, SNES Mario or I don't know what to call it SNES Mario Kart uh, texture. Look at that. I think that's just kind of ripped from uh, from an SNES track. But all right. Um, I'm just I'm just using the textures that were already there, so don't blame me for crappy textures. <laughs> and here's the uh, the uh, the brick wall section. There we go. Um, and I had to add some seams to make the textures work. There we go. And I need to like kind of line them up. You see me do something stupid. I said snap to pixels, which you should not do. Don't snap the pixels and scale it up. It, it I kind of overlooked it for some reason, but it, it looks terrible. Um, I'll come back to that later at the very end. So, let's see. Oh, here comes the boost panel texture. There's apparently three of the same textures in the original track, so I just used one. I mean, why would I not? I mean, why, why, why would I import all three? I just use the same texture for the different uh, things. So there was a trick ramp, uh, and there comes the boost panel. Um, Oh, I forgot about the boost panel over there. If you played the original, there's also a boost panel over there. So, um, or not a boost panel, it's a trick. Yeah, you know, in, in the actual track, it's a it's a boost panel, but I actually made it trickable. So, because I felt like, why, why isn't it trickable? Because, you know, it's it's a ramp there. I mean, it, it kind of makes sense to be trickable. It's not like it stays on the floor. It's actually, uh, you fly into the air for a moment. So, I, I made that trickable. I think that's a, a bit of an improvement. And then there's this this wall section right there. There we go. And I think at this point I'm going to be adding the um, the water and the out of bounds sand in a moment. So um, yeah, you'll see me add a circle. And there we go. Oh, I already had this one. And um, so I just kind of take that circle and just kind of scale it up, fill in. And that was the. I think this is going to be the off uh, the out of bounds section. Turns out that there is no out of bounds texture with it. I think they used SketchUp's color feature, which kind of I, I don't know how that works, but I have to make this myself um, in Paint.net. I just make it a bit darker. Um, but the thing is, uh, there's going to be water on top, but the water is not transparent. I kind of messed up that thing. Uh, I, I didn't figure out how to do opacity. I tried doing it. I thought I followed the tutorial, but the it didn't. It didn't work. I don't know. If someone can explain me how to do uh, transparent or half transparent textures, then let me know. So uh, that, you know that that's gonna be quite useful. There we go. So then I move the sand down, the out of bounds sand, and then the water. So I take the same thing and just make it a water texture. It's kind of, kind of simple. And there we go. There's the water. And the out of bounds sand underneath, and for some reason I tried to fill around with alpha. Here. It doesn't actually work. I don't know why I was doing that because it doesn't work in game. That that alpha stuff that I do here doesn't actually export. So that's kind of stupid. All right, there we go. So we're gonna continue with the sand texture of these two sand area areas here. Um, there we go. 
that's just it's kind of simple there's no there's nothing special to that and then send on the other section uh, if I if I can do that there we go uh, actually not yet there we go and I think then comes the cave I think oh I also make the uh, yeah I almost forgot about that because the the actual ground is slightly lower I had to lower down the uh, the actual walls of the, uh, the 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 mountain, and so here I go texturing the cave. The cave also ha uses some kind of SketchUp coloring feature thing, whatever. So I have to make my own for that one as well. I'm just gonna take the sand texture and uh, turn up the saturation a bit and make it a little bit more orange. So you'll see me uh, do that right here. There we go, and I'll save that as the uh, cave texture and there's that and then the cave wall which uses some kind of very strange texture I've never seen that before I think I don't know where it comes from I don't know it looks pretty interesting um, it's a it's, it's an interesting uh, cave texture um, and there it is it, it's really weird <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to be but I mean it works hey it looks pretty cool so I mean whatever <laughs> and then the boost panel there and at that point everything else is left is the um, the wall oh there's uh, I changed the, uh, the the thing to a trick there and then the trick here and then the only thing that's left at that point is the um, the the mountain so after I do this there we go only thing left is the mountain and I thought I could do that in one go uh, it, it, you can see me do that right here I thought I was able to do this in one go, but it looks pretty bad. Um, if you look at like the section, I'm gonna zoom in in a moment. It looks pretty bad, yeah. Uh, so I kind of uh, made a cut on the other side of the of the, uh, the the hole. You can see a bit of a cut there, but it, who's gonna who's gonna care? <laughs> it doesn't look that bad. So uh, I, it kind of transforms the uh, the texture into two separate UV mapping. Uh, all right, so then this is the final ramp, and at that point, we're done with texturing, and I can pretty much go and export this stuff. So, yeah, the track is pretty much complete at this point. And I think what's next? Oh yeah, we're gonna be adding the Canon KCL collision, and I will be exporting this track to uh, play on, and um, or well, I already did, and at this point, you'll see me do some bug fixes. So. There's a quick bug fix. I forgot the start line, which is kind of kind of stupid. I don't know how I did, how I forgot about that one. There's the start line, and here's me uh, doing some bug fixes. So I scaled the whole thing down. I figured that uh, uh, the whole thing should be scaled down a bit. It was a little bit better. And as you can see, that texture looks terrible. I shouldn't have used the uh, snap to to uh, snap two pixels thing. That's terrible. I don't know why I did that. It's, it, it's bad. It looks it looks very very bad. So I retextured re that whole thing, and I also changed this backwards so you can actually land properly. It was slightly too short, short, and um, I changed that little ramp because that was incorrect, and I changed this for some reason that was going down, and I think that's that's pretty much it. That's the whole track done. Um, you'll see me go into into a dolphin in a moment. Oh wait, there's one more thing, um, the uh, fall boundary. So you can now jump from one uh, end to the other over this thin uh, thin section right here. Oh, there's me re-adding the cannon once again. Um, and come on, re-adding the cannon. There we go. And then the fall boundary right here. That just stops you from jumping from one end to the other. Um, because that was possible. I, I didn't want that. So here's the fall boundary on one end. And I duplicate it and flip it so it's the other side. So you cannot go from one to the other. I tried doing this, but in the end it doesn't actually matter anyway. If you fall off and you, for some reason, get started off the track there, just go into the off-road at the bottom. I mean, the chance of getting knocked off there and, and landing it is really low, and it, it would it would be too low, so you could like fall into there from uh, from like a blue shell hit. All right, so here we are in game. This is the track, and that you've been seeing me make. It took me, you know, less than uh, less than a day, really. Wasn't that bad. Uh, of course, it's not entirely done. You can see I just did none of the objects are set yet, and there's no uh, checkpoints yet. Lakitu is gonna annoy me for the rest of the time here. But um, here's the track. Uh, I'm gonna race on it a few times, uh, show off how it plays. Uh, I think it works pretty well. I feel like this turn is really wide, 
But, you know what? How about I make item boxes in this and have only the item boxes spawn only in the top half of this, this turn. So, if you want to be fast, you can take the bottom route. And if you want an item, for example, you're in first place, you want an item, instead of going fast, you'd have to go up here and then take the boxes and then go back down. I think that's a, an interesting thing. Here we go. So now you cannot trick off of this ramp. That You couldn't do that in the original. And here's the cannon. There we go. I think the original cannon was really slow. There is a slow cannon, but I just made it a faster cannon because it's just really boring. This section is less boring now as well. Um... There we go. So instead of having a big, long, flat area, you have a nice turn. Uh, we go through the Luigi statue. That's not entirely intended, but there we go. Lap doesn't count yet. And you can actually go down here. The The water isn't transparent. You can see that. Uh, I tried doing that, but it didn't work. Um, if someone can help me with that, please tell me. As you can see, you can now see where the off out of bounds starts. So, uh, wow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, this is going to spawn me in the wrong place. All right. Wait a second. I should have done save states. Whoops. Uh, <laughs> there's flying and Luigi heads. Great. Fantastic. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to show you the shortcut you can do. It's now pretty doable. So, let's go here and shroom. There we go. It's actually doable now. I think that was not even like I don't I don't know if you was were able to do that in the original, but that's a nice little shortcut. Let's do a safe state here. You cannot like go to the other side. There was you could um, in the previous test that I did. You could kind of do that. Whoops, dude. How do I even stop? Yep, there we go. Like you can't do that. You could do this before, but you know, add the uh, the out of bounds section or the fall boundary, and here we go. Uh, you can also go like down here. Whoops. Uh, <laughs> you can also <laughs> drive around there. Um, I don't know. I want your feedback um, if, I, if I should release this or not. And if I need to add the shortcut. Because as you all know, in the original game, there was this shortcut. You can go like right here. You could like fly down here and land here. But yeah, I don't have that added. If you want to, if you want me to add that, please let me know. But the thing is, I want people to take the original route. I don't know what I can do in this original route to make it work have item boxes yeah like I mean but if you're in first <laughs> I don't know man but like let me know if, if I should add this back because I feel like it, t to me this whole like little shortcut was was pretty cool like I actually really liked the, that about the track and so I may I may just add it back just because I want that myself I you know playing this I kind of I actually kind of want that back uh, so yeah there's gonna be items here um, the original track had like animated ramps uh, I don't have that yet I can add that uh, again, this is not even close to a final version yet. Uh, the model is, but um, there's a lot more stuff to be done in the, the KMP and, and some animation stuff here. So yeah, um, but yeah, this section is definitely improved. You can now properly drive down here. Um, that's definitely not a lot better. Um, so yeah, I think that's that's pretty much it. <laughs> I like the fact you can now trick off of this because you that was just a boost panel originally. And there's that. Uh, this whole section was kind of closed back then. Um, I don't know. I don't really uh, like that. So now it's just open. Maybe I should add some background details uh, over here because that seems interesting. Maybe I can place like a, a low poly version of a different track over there. That would be uh, somewhat interesting. Um, but yeah, so I think that's pretty much it for for this track. You can you can go down here. I don't know if that that's not faster because I don't think you know. I don't know if it's faster actually. Because you, you get the boost if you trick, but I don't know, man, whatever. So, yeah, the shortcut, doable. It's pretty cool. I like that. And I think, yeah, that, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this thing. Let me know if you th uh, what you thought of this uh, idea of a series. Uh, this, this was just to kind of get me back into making custom tracks. I needed some inspiration. Um, but, yeah, so um, that's going to be it for today. And I will see you guys in the next video.